The yin and yang of the 2017 Infiniti Q50 Red Sport 400. When we first drove the Q50 Red Sport 400, Infiniti had the car out at a prepared slalom and cone course in a large, open parking lot. The car was stacked up against another Q50 without the direct adaptive steer steer by wire system, and the course was designed to show that the DAS equipped Red Sport 400. It's a $1,000 option, required less steering input to master the same course. With all due respect to Infinity, which is invested in this unfortunate system and has been working hard to revise it, the comparison doesn't make a lot of sense. The non-DAS Red Sport 400 has a steering ratio of 15 to 1 in RWD and 16.7 to 1 in AWD forms. The DAS system can vary between 12 to 1 and 32.9 to 1 in RWD and 11.8 to 1 to 32.3 to 1 in AWD flavors. At its extremes, the DAS system's ratio is vastly different than the fixed ratio cars. So sure, with a ratio of up to 32.9 to 1, the DAS driver's going to do less work. It's all in the gearing. Does this mean it's better, that the steering feel is more natural, that it's easier to hustle quickly? The amount the driver saws at the wheel isn't an indication of that, necessarily. After a few days in a rear-drive Red Sport 400, I'm saying that the spooky disconnection between the driver and the front wheels would be a severe deficit to a driver on a real auto cross course. It's not like the DAS system is choosing bad ratios within its range, it's just not supplying the feedback to make it enjoyable. Knowing what your front tires are up to is critical. I can hear you saying right now, but what Q50 Red Sport 400 owners are going to autocross their cars? Sure, but it was just a means to an end, showing off the DAS in a good light. And in that case, it probably did. The thing is, in isolation, not back to back with a non-DAS car with a slow steering ratio, the DAS system has the same issues it's always had, it simply doesn't feel natural. It doesn't feel intuitive. There doesn't seem to be any real advantage over a slightly quicker rack. I don't hear about people making blind decisions based on how much work they have to do sawing at the wheel, do you? So, that's one side of the Q50 coin, one that's hard to ignore if you're an enthusiast and steering feel is an important connection between you and the vehicle you just dropped a large hunk of change on, and will be spending a lot of your time in. The other is that there's a really compelling reason to drive a Red Sport 400, the 3.0-liter, twin-turbocharged V6 is a monster.